Hello, my name is Michaela, and welcome to a vlog that ended up being pretty stressful, but it started off relatively normal with uh, me just brushing my teeth and getting ready for the day. Uh, this includes doing a bit of homework in the morning, so on this particular morning I did some readings for my introduction to Russian Civilization course, and I took some notes on the readings. They're definitely getting more interesting as we go along in the quarter, because at the beginning we were doing very early Russia. The texts just weren't as good, but they're definitely improving now. I got my outfit ready for the day and then I wrangled my hair into <laughs> something. Don't exactly know what it is, but it was something. And then I did my makeup and uh, the lighting is not very good in my room, so it's a little bit of a struggle sometimes. I also make my bed and I'm quite proud of myself. Um, this is the first year ever that my track record has been completely spotless. At this point, I'm more so just making my bed because I don't want to ruin my streak, not because like I actually want to every morning. Good morning, I have just gotten ready for the day. I feel like I'm really shaking the camera as I hold it, but I can't find anywhere my stand that I usually use to prop up against my window. I have like this little mini tripod and I can't find it. So I will be looking for that this afternoon, but I am going to go to breakfast and then after that, I will do some more studying before class, but I'm going to be leaving my dorm until like mid afternoon is when I'll come back. So uh, I'm going to take you along with me on a typical day in my life at the University of Chicago. After that, I will get ready to leave for class. And as you can see right here, the bushes are a fiery red. It's really pretty. I always kind of forget to look at the details, but as you can see, like there's just this ornate thing at the top of, on the ceiling here, and it's things like that that I just really love about the campus, the architectural details about it, uh, and also the crunchy leaves on the ground. The ground is just littered with leaves right now, and also there's really pretty ivy. Campus was pretty dead this morning. You can see there's really no one out here. went inside. I was early by about like 45 minutes because I had time after breakfast to just come here. So I just sat down and did some work for a little bit. Fortunately, there's no one here so I was able to put my phone out without anyone noticing. And I did some more work on my Russian reading. I then also did some work for creative writing. So I was doing some research on Christmas tree farms and the Great Depression, which seemed like very uh, opposite topics, but it's all coming together hopefully eventually, even though Christmas trees weren't really that prevalent before the 1940s, uh, but it's still fun to research. <laughs> The light really emphasizes how much my hair is frizzing out. So I have an extra hour of time to get stuff done and I'm going to work on my Russian reading. I'm really excited about this. Usually I just go straight to lunch after creative writing, but um, I came back to BJ first and I'm going to be studying in the lounge, which is empty. Um, and that's why I am talking out loud. I really love this room because it's always very warm in here. So it's cozy and I'm just going to get some reading done. This is great. Mm -hmm. 
So in this clip, I was working on a reading from Ong, I believe, and it- oh wow, I'm really fidgeting with my pencil. Okay, it focuses on neoliberalism, and in particular, neoliberalism as exception, and also exceptions to neoliberalism. I'm not really well versed in the political economy, so this is all very new to me, and I feel like the reading is a bit tough, but I've been enjoying it too because I've been learning so much. Okay, I just finished studying. I came back to the lounge after going to lunch in the cafeteria and it's about 20 minutes until my next class. So I'm going to head over there now and get my seat and everything. And I'm annoyed because I wasn't able to finish my Russian reading. So I still have to do that tonight, but I was able to get at least a decent chunk of it done. dorm and I'm thinking I'm going to do two things while I'm back in here before violin which is in 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to do some... helicopters are so loud out there. I'm going to get done some creative writing work and I'm also going to fix my hair because I didn't bring a hair tie with me today. I only brought this banana clip which usually works when I think to moisturize my hair the night before um, and use like this cream thing. Ouch. But I didn't do that yesterday and today what the heck? And my hair has gotten progressively frizzier and I just need to put it back in a braid at this point because it's not working at all. But until then, I'm going to get some work done. Okay, I'm getting ready to go and I still, here's my hair tie. There was an unnerving email about a shooting um, that was like on 53rd Street, which is really close to campus. So now I'm going to go walk to violin and it's just, it's really, freaky because, you know, when I was applying here, it was basically like saying like, if, as long as you're cautious, you'll be fine. But there's been a ton of incidents of like shootings and stuff right by campus. So on that happy note, I need to figure out where, what am I doing? I need to get my violin and I'm also going to pack my book because I'm going to walk to dinner once I'm done violin. Okay, so I feel like I always show myself playing violin, but I never actually show what I play on it. I'm gonna show you the sheet music I'm working on. I am a very not good violin player because I started in high school, unlike everyone else in the universe who started when they were five years old. Um, so for a very long time, I've been working on the theme from Schindler's List because I really love that piece. I'm just not good at doing the high pitched parts. So as you can see on the back, um, there's a lot of pine notes on there, which don't sound good when I play them. And then I'm also working on Suzuki book five. So there's a bunch of books of Suzuki. I mean, I haven't had a teacher in a fair amount of time because of COVID and then school. So <laughs> I've just been like self-practicing for a while. I'm currently working on country dance. So if anyone else watching this video plays violin and you're kind of wondering like, what is she even playing? Because she always meets herself. Well, right now I am practicing country dance. Oh. 